Are you ready for the storm that's coming? Hey everybody, I'm Bill, the Hill Country Prepper, and I want you to be informed so that you can be prepared. Happy Tuesday, everybody, and that's TWOS Day. That's right, February 22nd, 2022. It's 2-22-22. You guys know on my channel, I talk about things that are going on in the world so that you can be aware and make the preparations that you need for yourself and your family. Now, if that's important to you, keep watching. Seems like the springtime storms are starting up early around the country. Now, again, maybe it's not early. It is late February, and we typically see these storms start firing up around March and continue into the summer. What we've got going on today, there is a strong frontal system that's moving through Looks like it's starting about northeast of Dallas and extends up through Arkansas all the way up into southern Illinois. And it seems to be taking, an obviously, a eastern track. So you can expect to see severe weather as far up as, as probably southwestern Pennsylvania coming into tomorrow. Now this storm is characteristic. It has that, that southerly flow that is going to bring severe weather. Right now they've already reported two inch hail up in northeastern Texas, up around Denton, and you can expect to see heavy rain. Tornado warnings are all throughout Arkansas and extending even up into western Kentucky is what I saw. This is going to be uh, probably a severe storm are going to be associated with with this front. So I'll make sure that you guys are prepared for this. Now, a couple of things I want to talk about in getting prepared for heavy weather like this. Around your house, if you can, make sure that you don't have any limbs that are brushing up against the house, any limbs that extend over the roof. You want to try and get those cut down. You don't want those over your house. If you've got gutters on your house, you want to make sure that you keep those clean so that you so the rainfall will come off the roof and not damage your roof. If you have a gutter system in your neighborhood, now I know where I used to live, there was a drainage off of the street that ran between my house and the neighbor's house. And oftentimes in periods where there wasn't a lot of rain, we'd get debris, trash, leaves, small limbs, sometimes big limbs that would get down there. And I'd, I'd go down there and I'd just take a rake and I'd clean it out. That way, when it does rain, and we get a heavy rain down here quite often, that doesn't back up. Now, right, it's the city's responsibility, it's the county's responsibility, but you know what? It's my house. It's my property. And if that backs up because there's debris in the drainage, then it's going to damage my house and I'm going to have to deal with it. So make sure you guys check stuff like that. If you've got stuff in your yard, maybe you've got patio furniture, maybe you've got umbrellas on the table, something like that, potted plants on your patio around your yard. Before a storm comes, you want to make sure that you get those picked up and put away because you don't want them blowing around. You've seen these videos of these trampolines that get picked up in these storms and thrown into a neighbor's house. You don't want that to happen. So make sure you pick up all of the things that could fly in a heavy storm and get them put away where they should be so they're not a danger. Now as far as your vehicle goes, I want to talk about this real quick. There are some things that you can check and you can check right now. First thing you need to do is make sure that you've got the adequate tire pressure in your tires. And you also want to check the tread depth. Most new tires these days have tread wear markers on them that you can look at. Or you can just take a penny and stick it in the tread and if you can see the top of Abe Lincoln's head, your tread's worn down and you need to get new tires. You can run by most tire shops and they'll check the tire pressure for you and they'll also check the tire depth. That's important because you want to have good tires if you're driving on wet roads so you can prevent hydroplaning. Another thing for your car, you want to check your windshield wipers. You don't want to be in the middle of a rainstorm and then realize that you've got cracked windshield wipers that is going to cause streaking is going to impair your vision. Again, you can go down to most any O'Reilly's or AutoZone, something like that, and they'll get you the right wiper. And in most cases, they'll probably install it for you if you can't do it yourself. 
Now installing wipers are pretty easy, and it is something that you can do yourself, but those guys there behind the counter, they'll help you out and they'll do it for you. Back on your house, when you are expecting severe weather, you want to make sure inside that you've got your preparations in order. And I'm talking about make sure you've got flashlights, make sure you maybe got some candles or some lanterns. If you got a generator, maybe make sure that it's gassed up and ready to go. I'm not saying you have to break it out and get it all hooked up while the sun's still shining. But if there's a storm coming your way, you might, you might want to make sure you've got it ready to go. Also, when you're having to drive in severe weather like this, for God's sake, whatever you do, don't drive through a low water crossing. Now, I never understood this until I moved to the Texas Hill Country because we've got several low water crossings. And, and, I'm, and I thought, well, you know, this is kind of obvious, but every year, and I'm telling you, every year we hear about people that go through these low water crossings. They end up getting swept away. A lot of people die in these events. I've seen video of people that are hanging out of trees. Uh, obviously, they're, they, they'll get on top of their cars because they've, they've gotten stranded. The, the car stalls out. So don't drive through those low water crossings. Make sure you've got an umbrella in your car. Have it handy at all times. I've got one I keep down here in my car all the time. It's ready to go. You can take one, just toss it in the back, put it under your seat. You can buy those small ones. You can put them in the glove box. It's always good to have that. You can buy those emergency ponchos at any sporting goods stores. They're relatively cheap. Stick them in your glove box shove them in the above your visor have those available so if you have to get out into it you don't get totally drenched and of course they're one-time use for most cases they're not not worth anything uh, i think you can get most of them for a dollar grab a bunch of those you can pick stuff up like that at the dollar store get yourself a nice little umbrella get yourself some inexpensive rain ponchos have those on hand main thing is guys the severe weather's coming it seems like it's early to me, but I want you to be informed so that you can be prepared. So do these things now. Don't put it off. Get it taken care of. Be safe out there. You have a blessed day. Hill Country Prepper. Thanks.